Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. I'm excited for this video. We are going to check out a couple different projectors from Nebula. First of all, focusing on the Capsule 3 laser. And not only that, this is a special Transformers edition Capsule 3. Not only that, we are also gonna be checking out the Nebula Cosmos Laser 4K, a little bit larger, more powerful projector. Big shout out to Nebula for sending both of these projectors over and sponsoring this video. Anyways, let's dive into it. Laser power more than meets the eye with the Transformers Edition. We're gonna take a quick look what comes in the box and then of course get some hands-on with these two projectors. Let's get started. Here it is, the Capsule 3 Laser Special Edition. You'll see Nebula Transformers, a uh, really cool etching design on the box. I'm a big fan of just anything special edition when it comes to tech. Not only that, Nebula is actually the first brand to put laser technology into a portable projector. So as you can guess, this projector is very small just by the size of the box in general. So let's get started opening it up. There it is, convert your home theater, Optimus Prime, I love it. Let's see what we get in this very custom box. Oh my gosh, check this out. All right, no, you know what? I'm gonna leave you in suspense. We're gonna put this to the side, see what we get. As usual, quick start guide for the Capsule 3, but also a remote and awesome, does come with batteries. Just a quick close up of that remote with volume rockers, controls, even a voice search button. So there's a microphone built in, love to see that. All right, just a quick look at the design. Transformers more than meets the eye. We're gonna set that to the side for just a second. See what else we get. Inside, you have your foldable charging brick, which uses USB type C along with your USB type C the Type-C cable for charging because this does have a battery inside. And onto what you came to see, the Capsule 3 laser from Nebula, that Transformers Special Edition. I love they use laser technology in this. First of all, it's more usable, it's more energy efficient, especially because this is powered by battery. You get up to two and a half hours of video viewing, which pretty much is just about every movie out there. So it's more efficient and also brighter, up to 300 ANSI lumens. Not only do you get that brightness, you also get a better quality of image and color as well. I'll show that off in just a second. Taking a closer look at the hardware, you have some Nebula branding, the sensor for autofocus, auto keystone. I will show that off. And moving along, there is that bulb. Actually fairly small considering how bright it gets. This has an eight watt Dolby Digital Plus speaker. So while you're watching your content, you get audio out of this very tiny design, I love it. You can also put it into sound mode and get up to 10 hours of music time out of it. So just like a portable speaker, it has a projector built into it. On the back, you have the IR blaster for the remote, the button to turn it into speaker mode, power button, and a 3.5 millimeter aux slot, HDMI port, and USB type C port for charging. Down at the bottom, you have a lot of grip. So even if it's put at an angle, it won't slide on you. And also it's threaded. So you can actually use a tripod with it. Very useful. And up towards the top, there's some touch control buttons. I love it because you might not have the remote near you or even wanna bring it with you when you're traveling. So you can just fully control this projector with those top buttons. So again, with this portable Capsule 3 laser, you have higher brightness, better color, less power usage. Let's put it to the test. On the home screen, fairly basic with Android TV. However, you do get all the apps that you want, HBO, Spotify, Disney+, Plus, YouTube, uh, anything from the Play Store that you can find. And within settings, you can customize the picture quality to your liking. You can make it a little bit warmer, cooler. You can change the brightness as well. And after using it for a bit in a dimly lit room or a dark room, it is noticeably brighter than LED bulbs in the previous portable projectors that I've used. So that laser technology definitely shines through. Pretty solid solid color reproduction as well. I did have to tune it just a little bit warmer, but that's just my personal taste. But otherwise, colors looked really good. The contrast as well in the bright to dark scenes, if I was in a dark room, looked solid. If you are in a really bright room with a lot of sunlight coming through, it might not get bright enough, but if you do pull the curtains, it is definitely manageable. Also, so cool, it doesn't have to be plugged in, powered off of a battery, so you can take it wherever you want. So if you're laying down, you can have it pointed at the ceiling and it will autofocus for you and you're good to watch while you're looking up at the sky. Also, if you're out and about, maybe you're camping, you could bring it with you, project a TV show. Now for me, you could go up on your roof or even off my balcony, there's a brick wall. Now the video doesn't quite do it justice, but it's definitely 
perfectly manageable. I can see it's great for casual watching. Obviously, a white wall is going to be best for the best picture quality, but it just shows the versatility that this has. With this shape and size, you could even just put it in the water bottle slot of your backpack and just bring it with you. Again, it's super portable. And the Capsule 3 Laser has that autofocus, but also the auto keystone. So even if you're at an angle, a weird angle, it will completely correct the image so that it looks square to your eye from whatever angle that it's positioned at. And I have to say the speaker inside was actually pretty impressive. It definitely filled the room when we were watching TV shows and will absolutely do as a portable speaker. So uh, nice that it has that versatility. With the Capsule 3, you can even do a little bit of gaming as well. There's a slight input lag in comparison to maybe a higher end TV that's out now, but it's still very manageable for casual gaming. It's actually a lot of fun to have such a big projected screen while you're gaming. Overall, using the Capsule 3 laser has just been a lot of fun, really cool. How I, you can just project something on any wall, even if there's things on the wall, you can still see the content that you're watching. So it's still great for casual watching wherever you are. And hey, maybe you want something with a little bit more power, a little bit more brightness. You do have the option of the Nebula Cosmos Laser 4K. Let's take a closer look at this guy. Very quick unboxing. We have our Nebula Cosmos Laser 4K Inside, quick start guide, plus a remote that comes with batteries. Thank you, Nebula. And that remote has some shortcut buttons, the Google Assistant button as well. You have your standard power cable. This does not have a battery, so it does need to be connected to an outlet to work. Also, the Android TV dongle, which does connect directly to the projector. I'll show that in just a sec. And here is the Cosmos Laser 4K from Nebula. Close look at the bottom, we have Nebula branding, our sensors around that bulb, which does get up to 150 inches of screen size. I have to make a note, this is pretty portable. It has a nice handle up towards the top to carry it around. And at the top, there are touch buttons, which is nice. You can control it. You don't need the remote and you have the power button. You have two 10 watt full range speakers and two five watt tweeters as well that have Dolby Digital Plus. I'm expecting these to be very good sounding. On the back are power outlet, HDMI port, USB type A, and our auxiliary cable slot. Popping the back piece off is that slot for that dongle. Like I said, to get Android TV, just connect the cables that are right inside and it fits right in. It's very seamless. Down at the bottom, you have grips, so it's not gonna slide on any surface that you're gonna put it on. And it's threaded if you wanna put it on a tripod. Quick note, that handle has such a nice soft touch grip. It's very comfortable. The Cosmos Laser 4K is actually one of the brightest movable projectors at 2400 lumens because it has that handle there, makes it more portable than say one that you're going to have completely set up in a home theater. In that 4K resolution, you also have HDR10, which looks fantastic while you're watching movies. And again, this would be more suitable for a very bright room since it does get so bright, you can still see it when there's a lot of light coming through. This also has the autofocus auto keystone. So even if it's at a certain angle, it will auto adjust for you so you get the best picture quality possible. Whatever content I was watching on the Cosmos Laser has been excellent. TV shows, movies, games as well, just any sort of YouTube videos, maybe just your favorite YouTuber, whatever it is, I've been very pleased with it. It's great to have such a powerful, high resolution projector that, you know, you can move around if you want to bring it with you somewhere and entertain, you know, some guests or bring it over to a friend's house. So anyways, that's everything for me on the Nebula Capsule 3 Laser and the Cosmos Laser 4 Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun making it. These are two very versatile uh, laser projectors. They were a lot of fun to use. So anyways, drop a comment. Let me know which one you're going with. They will both be linked in the description of the video below. Be sure to click that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe as well. And as always, thanks for watching.